First in BBC One, here's Brucey. Life is the name of the game And I want to play the game with you Life can be terribly tame If you don't play the game with two And I want to play the game with you Gentlemen and children, welcome to the Generation Game. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice! Although, I am a bit jaded. Oh, no, I couldn't sleep last night because a question came into my head and I, I, didn't, I couldn't find the answer. And all day in the studio, I've been asking people this question and not one person could give me the answer. So I'm going to ask all you people here tonight. Now, where does your lap go when you stand up? <laughs> Somebody say, stand up. Everybody stand up. <laughs> Come on, stand up. Now then, where have your laps gone? <laughs> OK, now sit down, sit down. That's it. Now they've all come back, haven't they? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Now, if any of you watching at home and you think you know the answer to where your lap goes when you stand up, then phone in now and you could win the biggest cash prize in television history. A staggering £15 million. Pounds. <laughs> the phone lines are open now and will remain open for another three seconds. <laughs> One, two, three. What bad luck. Nobody wins the £15 million. Pounds. What a terrible shame. But you've all won a consolation prize in the shape of, and what a lovely shape, the lovely Rosemary Ford. <laughs> Again. I had a lampshade like that once. Anyway, <laughs> don't keep moving, you're going to drive me mad tonight. Tell us, tell us a bit more about the preparations for your new stage show. Oh, right. Well, yes, I'm, uh, I'm actually trying to include singing a duet in the show. Oh, a nice idea. What kind of songs will you be singing? Well, uh, you know, the kind of song that was made very popular by a famous Hollywood singing duo. Oh, I think I know who you mean, yes. In fact, we all know who you mean, and they were very, very popular. Yes. yes. Mind, they were long before my time, mm. but I've heard so much about Jeanette Eddy and Nelson MacDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Jeanette Eddy and Nelson MacDonald. You've made me feel about 150. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got oh, yeah. it wrong, I've got it wrong. I think you have. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, no, I've got it, I've got it. I remember, I remember. It was Jeanette MacNelson. Uh, Jeanette uh, MacNelson for, forget and, it, uh, forget uh, it. Uh, Nelson Mandela? <laughs> <laughs> Nelson Mandela? Introduce the teams. <laughs> right. right. Our first team's from Devon. Their grandmother and grandson, Joan and Paul Cresser. Ah! <laughs> And you are Joan... Cresser. Cresser. And you're, where are you from? I'm from Torquay. Oh, from Devon? Yes. Oh, so you're a Devon violet. No, I'm a Devonshire dumpling. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Devonshire dumpling? Well, that's nice to know. Uh, now, you are a widow and you have four sons. Yes. Yes. And there was 11 years between the last two, so I don't know what happened there. Hey, it was <laughs> obvious. Nothing. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> right, now, Mrs. Cresser, you had a wartime honeymoon. Oh, yes. Oh, good. Well, tell us about that. On the, in the evening, we didn't go away because we couldn't afford to go away. No, in those but days. No, no. That's what, so mm. anyway, we, we just got to get, you know, cracking. And... <laughs> <laughs> Just enjoying get... our... Oh, enjoying life. your married oh, life. Yes. That's yes. better, dear. Well, we yeah. heard pandemonium. Mm. Yes. And I thought, my God, the Germans have landed. Oh. But it wasn't that at all. It was oh. the local home guard and they were having a mock invasion. No. Yes. So did you get did you get much sleep? No, not at, none at all. Yeah. No, yeah. Not at all. Do, do you think you're yeah. Mrs. Cresser? <laughs> no one sleeps on honeymoon. Oh, that, <laughs> it was that, yeah. 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 yeah, fine. Right, over now to your grandson. Paul, yeah. married to Joanna, what does she do? She works for the post office. I see, and she gave you her stamp of approval right from the start. <laughs> and have you and Joanna any children at all? No, we're still practicing. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, so you're a musician? <laughs> <laughs> still practicing on the Joanna, right. <laughs> where, did, where did you go on honeymoon? We went to Bali. 
Oh, Bali. Oh, a lovely place. It was Beautiful a, place. It was well, lovely. Well, it's just that the hotel we were in, it was a lovely hotel, but it's a bit, there's quite a lot of power failures. Oh, power failures? Yes. Yes, I hope it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> and your wife, what is it? She's a postal assistant. That's right. Well, she didn't take that sign with her position closed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for being here. If you just pop over there, we've got some people to play against you. All right, then, off you go, then. Thank you for that. Who's the next team? Right, they're from Cleveland. Their mother-in-law and son-in-law, Pamela Taylor and Peter Henry. Right. <laughs> Good, good. Now, uh, you are Pam Taylor. Taylor. Taylor, and where are you from? Mask in Cleveland. Mask in Cleveland. Oh, yeah, it does the show. <laughs> you're, married, you're married to Malcolm. Yes. Yes, and where did you meet him? Uh, well, I was working in an electrical shop at the time. Oh, uh, yes. He came in for a couple of batteries, yeah. and he's been ever ready since. <laughs> But is he rechargeable, dear? <laughs> well, you better try that. It's not too late to try. Right, well, any fantasy ambitions at all? I've always fancied to wear something floaty. 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 <laughs> floaty. Really floaty. And what would you like to do when you've got this And walk down the staircase, holding yes. the banister, yes. to the music of a mel um, pretty girl is like a melody. Oh, what a lovely fantasy. Well, we heard about this. Your fantasy's going to come true. Oh. <laughs> Can we just have a bit of floaty, just a drape rounder? Just to drape the floaty rounder, that's it, just round in there. And get your hand, so you can get your hand out and hold my hand, right? Cue music! So leave her and then she'll come back again. A pretty girl. Is just like a pretty tune. Right! <laughs> I mean, oh. I mean who, who does she think she is? How many years? Floaty, floaty, Jack. You think I'm a mug or something? Anyway, over now to your son in law. Uh, uh, over now to your son in law. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shall we let her out? Yeah. Yeah. Let her out, boys, let her out. That's it. Oh, she's still coming. <laughs> oh, pretty girl. Did you like that, then? Oh, you can keep that bit of chiffon. Would you like to keep that I as a little memento? Me I'll yeah, sign it later. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a promise. Uh, and it's a promise that is yours, Lovely. yeah. Okay, out of my own personal. <laughs> <laughs> Right, now over to your son-in-law, Peter... Henry. Yeah, Peter... Henry, Peter Henry. Oh, your mother couldn't make up her mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're married to a man... Amanda. To a man... what? Amanda. Oh, Amanda! Sorry, that's a new type of... <laughs> <laughs> Have you any irritating habits um, at all? Well, when I meet him, we draw clicks. It's oh, well, so does mine. So does mine. <laughs> <laughs> With my size, my jaw. You know, when we have dinner, you know, we have to close all the windows, otherwise the neighbours complain about the noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a man. There's no cure Terrible. for it either, Terrible. I think. Terrible. Oh, you didn't tell us about your honeymoon. Uh, we'll skip that, sorry. Yeah, well, yes, we had three days in the Lake District. Yeah. Run upstairs to the toilet. Lovely. Sound, heard the sound of drums. Oh, what's this? What? Look down, somebody put cling film over the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Still splashing out. <laughs> 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 I'll never forget that. What do you think when the door's closed? I thought you'd left me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we'll never do that. How have you got you can keep that, honestly, oh, right? Off you go over there. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Nice people. <laughs> Start our first game. I'd just like to remind you that our contestants have no idea what we have planned for them. They do not rehearse. This is your rehearsal. Let's imagine you're on a South Pacific island with some members of the West Samoan UK Association. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So the first two, come with me, come with me and meet our friend in the middle here. This is Zen. Hi, Zen. You OK? Now, just sit down, my darling. Just squat down there with your legs, with your legs crossed. That's it. Not too close here. That's fine. Here we go with the Western Samoan take two. Lloyd! <laughs> And over you go there, if you will. Wait over there. Could we have the other couple on, please? Now, when this is a bit different to a pretty girl who's like a melody, squat down, if you will. That's it. And keep your knees moving all the time. We're ready now for Western Samoan take three. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
well done, all of you. And once more, let's thank the musicians and dancers from the Western Samoan UK Association. <laughs> And now to judge this, we have the president of the association, who is also their percussionist. Please welcome Tali Tolliver Tarsi. Tali Tolliver Tarsi. Are you related to the Arsi Tarsis? <laughs> It's an interesting question, for goodness sake. I've been dying to ask that all day. The arsey tarsies. No, did you ask me that before when you Ah, no, because I saved some for the show, you know. Uh, yes, I'm not stupid. Right. Just in case I might get a laugh. Right. So, let's do a bit of marking then. First of all, the people over here. Uh, I think they were two in a really good job. I mean, the two couples they were marvellous, and I think they were all two in a marvellous. Yeah, the two couples were marvellous. <laughs> First one, he was doing really good, was doing the really high lifting up. Uh, would he, yeah, with the knees, yes, yeah, your, your knees, knees were good. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they seemed, did it quite well, but seemed to make a little bit of mistakes, he was going she the wrong way. made a few, yeah, she did go the wrong way. <laughs> she did, uh, yeah, with the Devon Dumpling, she's got no <laughs> control over them, yeah. you see. Yeah, so well, what about over this side? Uh, we've, uh, no, we're right through the whole... No demonstration. So you got all the way through it. Yeah. 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 That's, <laughs> that's what he's saying. Yeah, and, you got uh, all the way through it. Yeah, uh, out of twenty, I'll give this to you. Seventeen. Seventeen over this side. Yeah. 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 And this side, yeah, but eighteen. Just a little bit better this yeah, side. Eighteen. All right. All right. Well, well done, Dave. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you for and thank you for bringing all your wonderful people with you. Thank you so much. There we are. All right. Now then, what's on the board? Miss Ford. Well, Paul and Joan have 17, Pamela and Peter have 18. Ah, see, only one in it. That's good. So go over there, sit down and relax just for a minute. Our second game is called Bride's Head Revisited. So please welcome, from the internationally famous Daniel Galvin Hair Salon, Mr Gerald Monaghan. <laughs> Now, now, how old were you when you started uh, hairdressing? Fifteen. Only fifteen? Yeah. And tell me, what did all your pals think about you becoming a, a ladies' hairdresser? Well, they were builders, shipbuilders. They loved it. They, they, they thought it was, it was all great? They thought it was great. Yeah? And did you do their hair as well? Very, very seldom. <laughs> <laughs> Some loud here. And let's uh, talk about... Yeah, c everybody come over. Thank you, Rosie. And now, may we have our model, please? This is Nicola. There we are. All right, my darling? Yes. Jolly good. Have you just got up? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're going to create. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. to do it now. Sorry about that. Yeah, right. Yeah. right, away you go in okay. your own words. First thing we're going to do is separate the hair here and use a piece. Put this piece in like this and like this. Two pins. And then we take the front section and comb it through. OK? Through to the ends. And it nice and smooth. So, you see, the back is already done, which your, your, your backs will be done as well, you see. Okay. So you just do this I bit. Grip. Grip. Or a nail. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's <laughs> handy at the time, you know. And like You've so. all got your grips and your nails. And a uh, second grip. Just to hold this piece. Another pin in yeah. there, that's it. And now we go to the side. I'll just come over this way. See, that's the way. Out. Right. <laughs> But you see the way she and fights her lip when he starts poking those things in her ear. <laughs> yeah. uh, are you watching this carefully? That's it, very carefully. Right. Good. And maybe use another couple of pins. There's one little bit hanging here, by the way. Do you want yes, that like that? Yes, I've got this piece. Oh, but sorry. Oh, that's okay. Didn't want to interrupt. Don't, don't worry. Good. That's, oh, we're going to map it into that. That's it. Good. And we twist this round. And twist that bit round, you see. Yes. And another pin here. For a very good reason, that. And the rosies. Ah. This is the finishing the bridal touches, you see. Right, one rose here. There's nothing like a bridal touch. No. <laughs> <laughs> we need this little yeah, special lovely, touch lovely. Here. Make sure they're in securely. And this side here. And now we finish it off with the tiara. She'll never get into the working man's club with a tiara. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely oh, there we beautiful. Are. And lovely Nicola, there you are. Lovely. Now, would you mind standing up, Nicola? And, and, and give, it a, give it a shake. Yes. Yeah. That's lovely, Nicola. Thank you. And Gerald, will you come back to do I'd some love marking? To. Thank, Thank you. you, my darling. Off you go. Lovely, lovely. Now get to your places. Get to the fire one, Paul. Hang on over there. Get here. 
good. Now, can we have our models on, please? There they are. From right to left, my right to left, it's Ella, Leslie, Lucinda and Hannah. So, there they are. You've got about a minute and a half to make a bride's hairdo starting from now. Where you go. Try and remember the sequence in which... Uh, don't be too rough, Paul. <laughs> Gentle bit, of course, poor girl. There we are. It. Remember the sequence, if you can. And to cover up the... Uh, sort of little piece that we put in there. That's it. Right here. <laughs> Scream out, dear. <laughs> you get more money if you do dialogue. <laughs> Much more money, just scream and shout. <laughs> Keep going. Because we want finishing touches in a moment, no matter where you're up to. <laughs> 15 seconds. Whatever you're doing, stop. Stop whatever you're doing and put the and put the roses in. Marvellous over there. The roses in and the tiara quickly, otherwise you'll lose points. Quickly, roses, tiara, roses on, try to stick it in with a pin. That's it good. Yeah, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Stop, stop. Right. What a mess. Right. <laughs> Come back, Gerald, and try and sort this out. <laughs> Have a look at this first from the back. Right. The blinds in. The blinds. Yeah, it is, but you got in a terrible mess. Yeah, yeah. The, the flowers and the, the tiara flowers are in. Now, can I just turn it round so the people at home can have a little look? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the people at home would have another look. Okay. Now the test, the acid test. Stand up, my child, and shake your head. <laughs> Yes, well, yeah, he, yeah, even your zip yeah. is undone at the back here. <laughs> Look, your zip's undone at the back here. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. Sit down. <laughs> so how many marks do you think? think? Four for effort. Four for effort. Four for standing there. <laughs> now, James, hanging on for dear life to yes. yeah, If you let go, it goes, doesn't yes. it? But <laughs> around, see if we can get you around that way. There's the back of it. Now, the acid test once again. Stand up, if you will, my darling, and... Give a good shake. <laughs> oh, you're dropping flowers everywhere. That would be nice going down the aisle, wouldn't it? No. So, what do you think? Five. 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 Yeah. Five. That, that's yeah. probably all that's worth. <laughs> Lovely. OK, my darling. Now then. Oh. Dan Daniel would employ you for this. Yeah, Daniel, there job. we are. Daniel yeah. Galvin would employ yeah. you for that. What has? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Tea lady? Oh, well, <laughs> no, but it really Lovely. is very oh. good. I think it's... It's wonderful. Look, have a look at this, yeah. everybody. Oh, sorry, the other way, my darling. Sorry. There we are. How about that? Yeah. Isn't yeah. that good? <laughs> that is excellent. Now, I wonder if it's... It, it looks pretty sturdy, but... And you were finished before all the others. Well, give it mm. a good shake. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. I'll try and find you a husband before the night's out. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. definitely an eight. An eight? Yeah. Well done indeed. An eight, well done indeed. Lovely, lovely. And little Hannah right. at the end. So, what about Hannah? It looks this is the night after. The night after <laughs> the honeymoon. <laughs> but uh, let's show everybody at home, if we can. <laughs> definitely a bit of a mess. The tiara's upside down. The roses are sort of... looks as though they've taken root. <laughs> So, what the do you think? Test. The acid yeah. test, yes. Uh, give Definitely. it a good shake, dear. Good <laughs> shake. <laughs> oh, at least oh, it stayed in. It surprised you, didn't it? Surprised you? Well... See him again. Five, it stayed up. Five, it stayed up. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well... <laughs> thank you, Gerald. Thank you, Thank Daniel as well. And yeah. all your lovely models. Thank you for being with us. And thank you thank for giving us a game. OK. Right. Come along. What about it? <laughs> What's on the board, Miss Ford? Paul and Joan have 26, Pamela and Peter have 31. Oh, well done, you two. Bad luck, you two. Uh, and we're sorry to lose you, but you will be getting a Generation Games telephone each. And thank you very much for being here. And we'll be seeing you in our grand final, which is coming up any day. <laughs> All right, off you go there, off you go there. And thank you again for being with us. 
tonight, Rosie, are... They're from South Staffordshire. Their father and daughter, Roy and Ali Westwood. Right. <laughs>